I want to have the confidence of a middle-aged balding man because they think they can pull everybody. Hey girl, what's up? Long time no talk. As you can tell by the title, we getting ready for a date. I'm not even going to bore you with a long intro. So we got hair, makeup, and I got a bomb ass outfit that I'm ready to wear. So let's just like get into it. So I'm going to shut up. Well, not really, because we're going to be oversharing a lot about my love life. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and get into the makeup. Um, I'm going to be starting off with my dirty, dingy cover of X. Can you even see it? You see how dirty it is? Sorry, I'm a black girl that brown makeup. Cover FX primer. I like this primer because she a thicky on it. She thick. And it really catches the makeup and helps to last long. So I'm going to go in with that. Some of you have found me on my dating profile, like setting up my Hinge account. It was like sometime last year. Some of y'all have found me from that video. I had set up my Hinge profile and just was like, oh, I'm ready to date again. We're going to go in with OG Laura Mercier because I powder before I started applying my makeup. If you have oily combination skin, this is a good trick. I learned this from Jackie Ina back in the day. So just take a little bit and just like dust it over your primer. And it's just going to help your makeup to last longer and to help control the oil. So I was like, yeah, I'm ready to date and things like that. So I made it. And whenever I made it, I had actually matched with a guy back in December. And we just really, a couple weeks ago, caught it quits. So what is that? December, January, February, March, April, May. June so like almost six months we made it it is what it is so I'm gonna be using the makeup by Mario in the color 20 in but yeah we had ended or like decided to call it quits because it wasn't like we were together or anything we were just dating and I knew it kind of was going to come to an end anyways the only reason that I was kind of like holding into it onto it is because like if you didn't know which I'm just going to go ahead and see that you don't know um I'm active duty air force and maybe I should start with that like a small little introduction to the people who may find this video so I'm Tierra. hi I'm 33 I am active duty air force I live in Northern California and never been married, no kids. All I have is a golden doodle puppy. She's not a puppy anymore. A golden doodle dog named Charlie. And today is actually her birthday. She's three. But yeah, just a little backstory about me. But so with that being said, the reason why I kind of like held on to him more, not necessarily because of like him, but because he kind of became like a comfort because I'm out here by myself and all of the friends that I did meet, they're literally already moved or they're in the process of moving. So I'm going to be by myself again. That just comes with being in the military. So he was kind of like a comfort in like continuity when there wasn't anything to do. So I think I was more so mourning that me like about to be by myself. And I don't have a problem with being by myself, but he was kind of like the thing that was keeping me like social because naturally like now I'm kind of like more of an introverted person. So it was kind of like a a means for me to get out the house and like do things. But we just got to like take the time and like do those on our own. So this is what our base is looking like. It's really like skin like. Yeah, we're looking good. And we're going to go in with our concealer. I'm going to be using two concealers on my face. We're going to be using the first with Fenty. I think I'm in the color 385. And I really don't do too much of that. I need to go get some more because, baby, we struggling. But, yeah. But if we're going to be completely honest with ourselves, I knew it wasn't going to last. It was like we look good on paper, but it's just something about we were always constantly triggering one another. I don't know what that was. Um, and if you ask him, he probably thinks like everything was my fault, but <laughs> it is what it is. But I was bummed out the first day. I won't even lie, but I literally got over it the next day. Probably got over it like later on that night. I don't know if it is. I'm like an Aquarius. Oh, I'm going in with the... Um, Bright Future Sephora. I need to take the plastic off. Hold on. Whatever. This is a black. 
Bright Future Sephora um, concealer. This is in the color caramel or caramel or 13. It's literally a super light concealer that I have no business using, but it like helps brighten up my under eye. And I should have, before I start, did all of this, I should have been doing my brows. So I'm already like out of my element. So we're going to do our brows and I have like a pimple in my brow that has literally been causing me pain. I'm going to be using the NYX brow glue to just slick up my brows and get them prepped for whenever we finally do like fill them in that was that that was a couple weeks ago and then you know i had a friend be like oh are you gonna like take some time to heal and i'm like what am i healing from like i don't have anything to heal from no i think the only lesson was to like end it a little bit sooner instead of like holding on but like i said we know the reason why i was holding on to it so yeah Okay, now we're just going to like blend it out. <sighs> but yeah, I was like, there's nothing to heal from. That was two weeks ago. And then <laughs> it's so funny because I like get back on Hinge and like see his his profile. And I was like, damn. But that was like, here I am on it too. So like, <laughs> even be mad, no. Um, But yeah, I just don't. One thing I am like, I don't know. One thing I don't want to happen is, like, I put him onto a lot of restaurants and, like, things to do in this area. And what I don't want to happen is to see him, like, me be out somewhere and then, like, see him with somebody else. Like, because I am going to feel a little salty. Because, like, go find your own places. I'm just going to blend this out. It's already looking so good. But anyways, like, got back on Hinge just to see. Not necessarily, like, looking. It's just, like, the summertime, you know. I'm trying to be outside. That's what I, like. I came to the conclusion of what I want. I want to be, like, I was, like, thinking, like, okay. Oh, this is, I think it's Say. Is it Say, the brand Say? I don't know. This is in the dark color, dark bronze. It's, like, what I use to contour. But I was thinking, like, okay, what do you want? And it's, I've come to the conclusion that I'm not really out here looking for love. Like, I'm open to it, but, like, I'm not about to put too much emphasis or time like like I want to date with intention but I also want to like just it's a summertime I'm trying to look good like I've lost some weight you know the waist is on snatch I changed my diet like getting my bloating under control like I look good I feel good so like I need to be seen and I'm trying to be less introverted I want to be it's not crooked whatever I want to be more extroverted and I want to be like open to like finding new friends in the area and like going on dates with like cool people or whatever like I want to be where the people are and you can't do that in the house so I was like okay how am I going to find them because I naturally can't find them at work I'm always stuck in the ICU so like how am I going to find these people so I just gotta be out there like out and about so I've been trying to do things to like put myself in positions to be able to like meet new people I want to get into like more hobbies like I want to really take a pottery class or whatever um finally go to like Pilates every time I'm supposed to go like something happens and I like can't go to the class um but yeah that's what I want to do I don't know what it is about like this um batch of like me being on hinge i feel like hinge is like trolling me because i need to figure out like what it is about my profile now that people that men see that would have them thinking that they actually had a chance i don't know i don't know i don't know i want to have the confidence of a middle-aged bald man because they think they can pull everybody girls that's what i need to tell you don't ever think that you can't pull anybody because the way these men feel they feel like they can pull anybody. So you need to have that same delusion as well. So I'm about to contour. I'm going to be using the Sephora Micro Smooth. I'm in the color 65, which is toffee, skin tone like. And then I'm going to be using, I will show you, it's disgusting. I'm going to be using my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 47. And I just mix them because sometimes the 470 is a little too red, but the Micro Smooth will like balance it out, which I like. But yeah. 
it's like a perfect bronze and contour shade for me. If only I can find it in like one powder, but I don't mind putting it in the work. But yeah, these men on hinge be something else. That is one thing. I'm trying to like find quality type men because I just don't want to be like having any and everybody in my face. Like I just don't have the time and the patience. So I'm really like having to sift, you know, but I don't know. I typically don't like, like I'm not opposed to military men, but I typically don't go for military men. It's just not my thing. Plus I like facial hair. And if you want, if you're a military man, you need to have a shaving waiver for me to even like look at you. And I would really want to date someone who doesn't have children. Like not knocking it or whatever. It's just kind of like not my thing. I don't have any kids. So I would prefer to not date somebody that had kids. And a lot of military men either like have kids or already been previously married. And it's just not like my thing. Oh, we're going to go in with our Laura Mercier and we're just going to like press it into those highlighted spots. I need to get some of those cute little powder pads that the girlies be wearing, but using, but it is what it is. This ain't never failed me before. So I just like came to the conclusion that everything, I'm keeping everything light. I'm not really trying to be tied down. Like, of course, I'm open to it, like if it happens, but... Honestly, I think I'm trying to, I say I don't have the time, but you make time for it is. I would like, in a perfect world for the summer, I would like to have like three dudes in rotation. I don't know. I say that and it already sounds exhausting. I'm trying to like do the things. Like I'm trying to get taken on a vacation. I'm trying to do all of those things. And plus, I don't think... Even men be, like, geared to, like, oh, let me find the love of my life during the summertime. Like, everybody been, like, prepping. Everybody looking good. They gonna be out here in their Gucci Daddy shorts wearing their Dior Sauvage. Like, everybody on the same type of time. You just gotta find someone worth being in your face. Let's you know? make it happen. I'm gonna take my NYX, the micro um, pencil. This is in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to kind of, like, align the bottom to kind of get it sparse and I like to drag my line out from the inner corner a little bit more because I never have any hairs there don't know what that's about this pimple I'm like just coloring over and it hurts so bad and I'm gonna do the same thing but yeah like I don't know I'm crazy like I have I was thinking to myself the other day like whenever I was in college I was reckless not reckless but I was like living my best life like I was living my best life like I did whatever I wanted to do I was out in the mix like just meeting so many people like having a good time and we were like wowing like we were like making out in the club making out at the bar I don't know what it is but I'm not necessarily saying that I want that, but I want like that exciting, that excitement, that spontaneity, like the mystery of like, I don't know. I want to meet you. That's what I want. Like, I feel like with these apps and things like that, like, I don't know, but I, I don't think I'm ever going to get the meet cute that I want because these men are out here taking dating advice from men who were scorned by a girl in 2017 and they just can't get over it. Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to get my meat cute, but that's I, that's what I liked and I miss. Like how you would go out to the bar and you would go there with no intentions of like meeting someone. And then of course you start like hitting it off or like flirting with a guy. And then like literally he's like buying you drinks the entire time. You're dancing, you don't care. And you like cut off in like some corner of the bar. You're like making out and then deciding on if you're gonna like hang out later those were the times like i don't know it was just so easy i miss that excitement you know i want to be craved and pursued like that but yeah we're just gonna brush off all the laura mercier oh yeah my style i woke up with a style on this eyes a little puffy oh god i was like what is going on okay this is our base we looking cute, baby. We're going to go in with the Huda Beauty 
um, cheeky tint in the color Rebel Red. If you're a brown skin girly and you want to try blush but you don't know what to do, get a red. I don't know. I'm like pro red blush. I used to think it was like super grandma-ish because my grandma used to wear it. But it's something about it in like a brown skin that just look like you see that. It looks good. Like look at that guys. It looks so good. I feel like the camera is not picking it up. Highlighter, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty in How Many Carrots. You see it? Oh, it's so pretty, guys. It's so pretty because it's not like a... I feel like it doesn't leave like that cast. And typically, I'm like a... <sighs> guys. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like just... <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm like naturally glowing this way. Of course, we're going to do an inner highlighter corner. Okay, and then for our, we'll do our lips last. For our spray, we're going to be using the e.l.f. All Night Stay All Night Spray. If you haven't tried this, this is not sponsored, sweetie. This spray is up there. Typically, I'm like a Urban Decay All Nighter Glow Ultra Glow. This is up there. And it's like a third of the price. And I'm just going to pat everything in. And literally, our makeup looks like skin. It just looks like, oh, I naturally look like this. This is the makeup when men say that they like girls who wear natural makeup, uh, who look natural. This is what they're talking about. I got on, like, how much money worth of <laughs> makeup on my face, but they think it's natural. Men. Now we are going to get this hair together, and we're going to continue to talk about this dating life of mine. I look into your eyes and I get that rush. Maybe cause tonight you're going to be my crush. <laughs> Have y'all heard Janelle Monae's new album, Sweetie? It's the vibes. I feel like it's the, it's going to be the album of the summer. Like, I feel like it's going to be the album of the summer. It's like so vibey. It's so vibey. And that is my song. That is, Jesus, that is what I want my dating life to be like. I want, it's so moody. Like, look at all that makeup. It's so moody. It's like so, like the mystery of it all. Like, if you not listen to her album, go listen to that and then come back here and tell me what you think about The Rush because that is my song. That is a sexy, sexy song and that is what I want for the summertime, baby. Okay, so we need to get this hair together. Let me take this off. I got this band on because we like trying to lay these edges and now I look like I got a big ass forehead. So we're going to bring that down. I got my clips. Like I said, I am delusional, so, like, I have, like, a theme, like, I want for the summertime, like, I want fun, I want, think, um, Drake, Controla, um, think that era, that's what I want, like, I'm trying to be at the club or whatever, the party or whatever, meeting somebody, grinding, dancing, having a good time with a little drinky drink in my hand, like, that is my theme. So, for the hair, I'm thinking with this date is blowout oh let's talk about the actual guy that i'm going on a date jesus oh you're probably like, damn she hasn't even said anything about this guy the thing is with this date like i'm excited about the date but i'm really more excited to turn a look because i feel like i don't i don't want to be i don't want to like get my hopes up and i know you're not supposed to go into anything like super like pessimistic or anything like that but i don't want to go into it like getting my hopes up he seems like a really nice guy decent guy or whatever He's, he's very accomplished, but I'm just, like, trying to keep it very light, go into it with, um, with, like, being light. So that's what it is. We're going to go in with our Silk Elements Heat Protection. I'm going to keep it really light because this can get really breezy quickly. But the hair does need something because I, like, washed it yesterday. But, yeah, like, I'm trying to keep it very light. I'm excited or whatever, but I don't... I'm not about to get my hopes up. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, plan out my whole life with this person. Not yet, at least, you know. Not unless they're, like, deems. And that's kind of, like, where I'm at. 
in my life. Like, unless this person is, like, super extraordinary, I'm more so excited to turn looks. Like, I'm excited to look cute, to show up and look cute and bring the vibes. Because I always say, I'm always going to have a good time because I'm a good time, so... I'm not worried about that. I've typically never really had an awkward date, and I'm going to knock on wood because I don't want that to happen because that's awful. But, yeah. But it's so funny because, like, I was on TikTok, and this girl said, I, if I can find it, I'll put it in here. Basically, she was like, if you're a girl who, like, always has, like, a good time on dates, like, you have to really go into it with intention or knowing what you're doing because you'll literally fall for anybody because you're like oh he was such a good time but in reality it was just you who was the good time so I think that's also like my problem too like like I said I always have a good time I'm not really gonna do like a pin curl type thing I just want to kind of like hold the curls a little bit so I'm just gonna be using these big gold clips that I have wait can you see it I'm just gonna be using these big clips so yeah I think that's also what it is. I'm like, oh, he was awesome. In reality, he was not awful, awesome. I was awesome. And I was having a good time. And I was seeing, you know, oh, it was my vibes that I was seeing. But yeah. But I am excited. We are going to a restaurant in Napa because it's like in between us. That's another thing we're dating in California. Like... All of you guys are like, we're all like spread out. There's San Francisco, Oakland, Sacramento, um, Vallejo, Fairfield, Vacaville. Like, all of these places, Walnut Creek, that are like close, but not really close, depending on the day and the traffic. So, he lives near the city. And I live like 45 minutes away from where he lives. So we decided to meet in Napa. So we're going to like a French restaurant. I never heard of it. Plus there's like a couple. I'm hoping in like... I just discovered so many restaurants that's in Napa. I'd be like really tripping because Napa is really like 20 minutes away from me. So like how's everyone else's dating life? Like are y'all finding better luck? Like what cities are y'all in? How's it? Because in my mind, I'm like once again delusional. I'm thinking like maybe I just need to move because it'll be better in a different city. But then I think the girls is having issues everywhere. And it's tricky too because you know everyone has their own preferences and things like that. So like... Just because you find them attractive doesn't mean that they find you attractive. So you also like run into that as well. Which is like it is what it is. Like I'm not about to argue or beg someone to love me. Like I don't care. Do you baby. But just leave black women out of it you know. By the end of the summer. I don't know how I'm going to make it happen. Because my friend is getting married in August. And I'm going to her wedding. But like at the end of the summer. I remember getting a fall like I want to be on a beach in a thong bikini either with somebody's son or by myself you guys are probably tired of me like rambling I'm gonna finish curling my hair and then I'll come back and we gonna get dressed because I'm so excited to show you the outfit like I'm so excited to show you the outfit and I'm so excited to show you the accessories remember when I said that this video was sponsored it's sponsored by the I don't think you're ready uh, I don't think you're ready let me go get it <laughs> this is sponsored by I don't think you can see it Teddy Blake, New York. Guys, and it says, Teddy Blake, New York. Teddy Blake, New York. Designer handbags made in Italy. Luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind with the extension of our unique style. Flatter to your unique, your every fashion voice. Okay, let's look at the shoes that they sent me because this is going to be like perfect. I'm going to take these out. And then I also want to take the purse out. We'll do it like that. Get out of the way. These shoes. Oh my god. This is a scout Emma. Guys, guys, guys. 
guys. I'm gonna have to get some B-roll. Do you see these? These are hot. But these are made in Italy. It's like that suede. It's like that camo kind of color. Hot, baby. Hot. Do you see the gold hardware on there? Obsessed. Ooh. 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 Oh, God. So these are the shoes. Now get into this purse. Oh, my God. And, of course, it comes with the dust ruffle for the shoes. So if you're traveling, you can put your shoes in there. Quality, baby. Quality. Holly's like, what is that? Now this, this is what turned me on. This is what got my juices going, sweetie. What is it called? This is the Kim, the Croco, sweetie. Do you see that? Oh, do you see that with the gold hardware? Oh my God. It's gonna look so hot with this outfit. Like, I can't. Oh, it has like the suede inside. Oh my goodness. This is like genuine leather. It's so hot. Like, look at these together. Girl, oh my God. I can feel my camera and everything. Girl, shut the front door. Okay, let's get dressed because we don't have time and we're running out. That's what I'm trying to give you. Romance, romantic type of vibes. Hopefully I got it. How does my look? I think I look cute. Wish me luck, love. Mm -hmm. 